Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be covering the topic of Tony K, the common question during my exams. I hope this will help you during the during your exam too. Okay, thank you. Now, let's begin. What is Tony K? A Tony K is a constricting or compressing device used to control venous and arterial circulation to an extremity for a period of time. The aim of tonique is to decrease the intraoperative blood loss and allow for increased surgical field visualization. What are the types of tonique that you know? It can be divided into A, emergency tonique, a tightly tight band applied around a limb, either upper or lower limb, to prevent severe blood loss from limb trauma during emergency. It should be used as a last resort to control bleeding. B. Surgical tonique. It enables the surgeons to work in a bloodless operative field by preventing the blood flow to a limb and allow surgical procedure to be performed with improved accuracy, safety, and speedy. They have two basic designs, the non-inflatable and inflatable. Frequently used together in orthopedics and plastic surgery, such as in intravenous regional anesthesia, beer block anesthesia. C. Non-inflatable, non-pneumatic tourniquet are made from rubber or elastic cloth. This tourniquet use is limited because of the modern tourniquet technique. D. Pneumatic technique, do pneumatic tourniquet. It use a compressed gas to inflate a bladder or cuff to occlude or restrict blood flow. A regulating device on the tourniquet machine can control the amount of cuff pressure exerted on the limb. The pressure is provided by an electrically driven pump or by a central compressed air supply. The components of pneumatic tourniquet. The five basic components are 1. An inflatable cuff bladder 2. A compressed gas source 3. A pressure display 4. A pressure regulator 5. Connection tubing This picture illustrates the pneumatic tourniquet. What are the principles of tourniquet? The principles include Placement of the tourniquet as distal as possible At least 5 cm proximal to the injury Sparing joints as much as possible Ideally applied directly onto exposed skin to avoid slipping How do you decide the width and length of the tourniquet? How to select the cuff properly? The length and width of the tourniquet cuff should be individualized, considering the size and circumference of the patient limb. The tourniquet cuff should overlap at least 3 inches but not more than 6 inches. Too much overlap causes increase in pressure and rolling or wrinkling of the underlying soft tissue. Too small overlap compromises the effectiveness of tonique inflation and can result in unexpected release or inadequate constriction. The width of the cuff should be wider than half of the limb's diameter. The wider cuff minimizes the risk of injury to the underlying tissue by dispersing the pressure over a greater surface area. 
Tonique should be positioned on a, on the limb at the point of the maximum circumference. A cuff tubing should be positioned on or near the lateral aspect of the extremity to avoid pressure on nerve and kinking of the tubing. What is the pressure of tonique in the upper limb? Lower limb. To simplify, the pressure of lower limb is systolic blood pressure plus the 150 mm mercury. Pressure for upper limb. Systolic blood pressure plus 100 mm mercury. The time maximum around 3 hours. Advisable only for 2 hours. When do we exsanguinate? How do we do it? And how many percent of the limb occlusion that occur during this procedure? Exsanguination before inflation of the tonic improves the quality of the bloodless field and minimizes the pain associated with tonic use. It is normally done by limb elevation or using an elastic wrap of the extremity. 60% elevation for 30 seconds will reduce the blood volume by 45%. When X mark is applied, it will reduce another 20%. Elastic wrap should not be used in infection, malignant tumor, fractures, or thrombi in the extremity because it can force the thrombi infection or malignant cells into the circulation. In these cases, exsanguination should be accomplished by extremity elevation alone. What is the autobahn function? 1. To distribute pressure equally around the compression area. 2. Minimize the contact pressure between the cuff and the skin. It acts like a cushion, thus minimize injury to the underlying structure, example the skin and deeper structure. 3. It absorbs spillage of disinfectant used in the sterilization of the operation site. So the cuff will not be wet, thus indirectly minimizes the risk of injury when datami is used. It will also minimize the irritation irritation to the skin. How long you use the tonique and what is the reperfusion time? Inflation or occlusion time should be kept to a minimum to minimize the risk to the patient. A safe time limit of 1 to 3 hours has been described. It is recommended to assess the operative situation at 2 hours and if the anticipated duration is more than 2.5 hours, then use a 10-minute deflation interval at that point and at subsequent 1-hour intervals. In pediatric patient, inflation time should be less than 75 minutes has been recommended for lower extremities. What are the complications of tonique? It can be divided into local and systemic complication. Local complication A nerve injury is maximum at the proximal and distal edge of the cuff where the shear stress is the greatest. The most common upper limb nerve injury is radial nerve followed by ulnar nerve and median nerve. The common perineal nerve is the most commonly injured lower extremity nerve. B. Muscle injury is due to combined effect of ischemia and mechanical deformation of, of the limb. This lead to metabolic and microvascular changes. 
these changes become more profound as the duration of the tonicky inflation increases. Intracellular concentration of scratching phosphate, glycogen, oxygen, and ATPs are exhausted by 3 hours. C. Tonicky induced ischemia and reperfusion will generate hydrogen peroxide and cause increase in xanthine oxidase activity in local and systemic blood which contributes to the injury of the skeletal muscle, myocardium, kidney and lung after ischemia and reperfusion. D. Vascular injury Uncommon complication. It occurs more commonly in children, obese, elderly, and patients with peripheral vascular disease. E. Skin injury. Also uncommon, but excessive tonicate time or poorly placed tonicate may result in cutaneous abrasion, blisters, and even pressure necrosis. The higher risk in children, obese, elderly, and patients with peripheral vascular disease. What are the systemic complications of tonicay? A. Cardiovascular effects. Limb exsanguination and tonicay inflation increases the blood volume and systemic vascular resistance that cause a transient increase in central venous pressure. There is an increase around 50% in the blood volume, up to 800 ml following exsanguination of both legs. Danger in patient who has poor cardiac function. Heart rate, systolic and diastolic pressures may increase after 30 to 60 minutes of tonicky inflation due to ischemia and tonicky pain. B. Respiratory effects is rare, mainly seen during deflation of the tonicky. It is associated with increase, transient increase in the antidal carbon dioxide tension due to efflux of hypercapnic venous blood and metabolic metabolites into the systemic circulation. Greater in the lower limb tonicky and in men due to men's greater muscle bulk. C. Cerebral circulatory effects Due to increase in the antidal carbon dioxide after tonic deflation that increase the cerebral flow in 2 minutes and returns to the baseline within 10 minutes. D. Hematological effects Induced the, induced the changes in coagulability and fibrinolysis. Hypercoagulable state due to increase in platelet aggregation and stimulation of coagulation factors caused by tissue damage and catecholamines released in response to pain from surgery and tonicate application. How to minimize the complication of tonicate? appropriate size of cuffs based on the characteristic of the patient example the circumference of limb shape of the limb pre-existing condition and type of surgical procedure a the widest cuff possible should be chosen that doesn't interfere with the surgical site white bladders can occlude the blood flow with the use of a lower cuff pressure thus reducing the risk of injury to the patient. STB et al. 2000 conclude that there is less pain when using a white cuff tonicky. B. Contour cuff are recommended for conical or tapered extremities such as encountered in muscular or obese patient to reduce the excessive pressure on one edge of the cuff. C. The cuff should be positioned on the limb at the point of maximum circumference which provides maximum protection for the prevention of the nerve and tissue injury. 
arm placed in the middle between the shoulder and elbow, upper leg at the proximal third of the thigh, using autoban to protect the underlying skin. E. The prep solution should not be allowed to pull around or under the cuff to prevent the chemical burn. What are the contraindication of tonicay? There is no absolute contraindication to tonicay application, but adequate care should be taken in 1. Severe peripheral vascular disease 2. Sickle cell disease 3. Severe cash injury 4. Diabetic neuropathic patient and 5. Inpatient who has history of deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism PE. What is Brunner's 10 rules for the safe use of tonicay? This figure is modified by Barrett's Barrett weight and Kluman. 1. Application only to a healthy limb or with caution to an unhealthy limb. 2. Size of tonicay, arm around 10 cm, leg around 50 cm or wider in large leg. 3. Side of application, upper arm, mid or upper thigh. 4. Padding. At least two layers of orthopedic wool. Five skin preparation, occlude to prevent soakage of wool. Six pressure, fifty to hundred millimeter mercury above the systolic for the arm, double systolic for the thigh, or arm around two hundred to two hundred fifty millimeter mercury. The leg is 250 to 350 mm The large cuff are recommended for larger limb instead of increasing pressure. Time absolute maximum 3 hours. Recovers in 5 to 7 days. Generally not to exceed 2 hours. 8. Temperature. Avoid heating. Example, in hot light. Cool if feasible and keep the tissue moist. 9. Document the duration and pressure. Lastly, 10. For calibration and maintenance, at least weekly against mercury manometer, 3 months maintenance. For specific complication of tonicae that is used in tonic, total knee arthroplasty, thigh pain and swelling, Paresthesia, vascular injury, venous thromboembolism, subcutaneous fat, necrosis, post-operative stiffness, poor wound healing, delayed recovery of quadricep strength. Yay! Finally, we have reached to the end of this video. See you in the next one. Take care and bye.